welcome back to explore vlsi this is day 13 of rtl design and verification series today we are seeing flip flops truth table characteristic table and excitation table we have already seen the flip flop truth tables we need to understand the characteristic table and excitation table of them to design any complex sequential circuits let's get in in day 12 we have seen the shift registers and different types serial in serial out serial in parallel out parallel in serial out parallel in parallel out these are the four different types of shift registers which, which we have designed using flip flops we have seen so today we are getting into flip flops again to understand more about them to understand what exactly the next state current state and how we will be putting that in a table what is the use of those tables and how that will be helpful in designing any sequential circuits so what is a truth table it is a mathematical table it has some input combinations and the correspondent output combinations so truth table says this is the fact of the design if you give inputs in this method outputs will be this that is what truth table is that says the true behavior of the design how actually the output generation will be then what is characteristic table then characteristic table gives the design character means which provides what actually the next state will be when you have a current state of output in this manner and you are providing the input like this means we can predict what actually the next state of output is when i have my input combination and current state of output value and what is excitation table excitation table is that which gives the minimum inputs required minimum input combinations required to generate a particular next state let's say the output is zero now i need to generate one as a next state then we need to know what actually the input i am supposed to give for a particular flip flop then only i can achieve the next state as one so in that case we need to use a excitation table so let's understand more about these and how actually they will be helpful we need to write the characteristic equation also that give us the exact equation or expression for implementation of any flip flop the very first thing is d flip flop we already seen the d flip flop truth table if we quickly recall let's assume this d flip flop is designed to operate in a positive edge clock this is a positive edge clock and when d is equal to 0 q will also be 0 when d is equal to 1 q is also 1 means in d flip flop whenever the positive edge of clock comes whatever there in d will be appeared in q this is what my output is if you look at the characteristic table as i said we need to have my inputs and the current state of output and we need to predict what actually the next state will be let's say i have input 0 now and current state of input output is 0 when 0 is the current output we have and i am providing 0 again the output will be 0 if my current output is 1 and i am providing the input as 0 the next state output will be 0 if i have input 1 with me and my current state of output q is 0 next state i will get is 1 why because this one will be appeared similarly if my current output is 1 and i have an input to give that is also 1 this one will be output in q and n plus 1 this is the characteristic table means by looking at input what we have and the current state of output of a flip flop we can say what would be the next state that is characteristic table now by looking at this we can write an expression so to get that expression we need to go for a k map i think you guys know how actually the k map works means we need to take these as inputs now and this we this would be my output so to get an expression for q n plus 1 we need to take this d horizontally or vertically and q n in other manner let me take d vertically like other uh, different combinations of d i can have is 0 1 so this row representing my d 0 this row representing my d 1 and vertically i am taking q n this qn0 will be this column and qn1 will be this column so 0 0 is 0 means when d is 0 qn is 0 i will be writing my output over here as qn plus 1 similarly when d 0 and qn1 what i get will be writing here similarly d1 and qn0 will be written here d1 and qn1 combination output will be written here so this is just like 0 1 2 3 cells so let's say this is zero cell 1 2 3 that is how we are writing so for 0 0 output will be 0 for 0 1 also 
for these two we will be getting 1 1 so i am writing 1 1 in k map to get an expression we need to group the adjacent cells having ones so here these two are ones i am grouping them together and i am evaluating this group as let's say these two groups uh, are generated because of d is equal to 1 so i need to take this as d itself when d is 1 here it will be giving d and horizontally if you take here qn is there this with d will be having qn0 and qn1 so means this group horizontally if you take qn will be 0 and qn is 1 in that case in this particular group we will be having one case as 0 other one is 1 these two get cancelled the output expression we are going to get is d out of this particular group so we come to know that whatever the input is that will be your next state as simple as that now what is excitation table then see let's say i don't know what is my input is right just i know my current state of output and i, I am saying the next state of output should be this let's say i have qn as 0 in my flip flop next i am supposed to get 0 again then what should be my input that is what excitation table is the d should be 0 when current state is 0 next state i am expecting as 1 means d should be 1 when 1 is my in output now i need to get 0 again i should give 0 when 1 is the current output and the next output should be 1 then i need to provide 1 from d flip flop this is excitation table this characteristic table k map giving the characteristic expression this is about d flip flop similarly we need to look for t flip flop now the truth table says when the positive edge of clock comes if t is equal to 0 our flip flop will be holding its previous state as it is as output it will not change similarly when 1 is my t it will toggle the state it will change its output state right by, by keeping this in mind if you write the characteristic table if my input is 0 i am providing now with currently having 0 so 0 will be carry forwarded right it will be hold it similarly when 0 is my t this 1 is also carry forwarded right when 1 is my input and current state is 0 it will be changed to 1 if my current state is 1 it will be changed into 0 now by looking at these values 0 1 1 0 if i put here uh, in the k map i will be not getting any adjacent cells as one that's why i need to group these two separately the first group give us t is equal to one and qn is zero means t into qn uh, qn bar because of zero that is my one expression the other group giving us t bar into qn right t bar into qn so t bar qn plus t qn bar is an xr gate in the xr gate we know that a into b a into b bar plus a bar into b will be an xr gate operation so we can directly write it as by taking t and qn into an xr gate we will be getting a t flip flop so t flip flop output is uh, nothing but a xr gate output but we need to take the clock into account right so now if you write an excitation table if you want zero as the next state my current state is zero i need to hold my values here so i need to give t is equal to zero i need to change my current output to the next state as 1 i need to give t as 1 if my current state is already 1 i need to change it to 0 i need to provide 1 again if current state is also 1 next state also i am expecting 1 i need to keep my t input as 0 this is excitation table similarly we need to look for sr flip flop now in the sr flip flop truth table as we know we we have 0 0 as sr value it is holding its value at the output and s is 0 r is 1 the output will be 0 if s is 1 and r is 0 it will be resetting uh, it will be keeping this s value as 1 if both are 1 it is indetermined state or unknown state it is forbidden state let us consider it as x so now let us write the characteristic table take s value r value and the current state of output when 0 0 and current state is 0 next state is also 0 it is hold state similarly when 0 0 current state is 1 next state is also 1 when 0 1 the case if my current state is 0 output will also be 0 why because s is 0 and r is 1 if you see here 0 1 case output will be 0 so for 0 1 case irrespective of my current state next state will be 0 again for 0 1 irrespective of my current state the next state output will be changed to 0 when 1 0 is the case 
again irrespective of these two we will be getting 1 1 as a result when s is 1 when s is 1 and r is 0 we will be getting 1 when r is 1 and s is 0 we will be getting zeros right now when both the inputs are 1 1 and my current state is 0 r 1 irrespective of my current state if both inputs are 1 1 the output will be indeterminate that is x right now for this qn plus 1 i need to write a k map here there are three bit combinations right the inputs are three bits so for that one bit i need to take vertically like this uh, that means for zeros and other two bits can be taken as horizontally like this so here carefully you need to write the values the first cell will be contributing 0 0 0 next cell is 0 0 1 this one is 0 1 1 and this one is 0 1 0 it means 0 1 2 here then 3 comes here similarly 4 5 this is 6 this is 7 0 can't uh, says 0 0 0 1 is 0 0 1 3 is 0 1 1 2 is 0 1 0 similarly 6 means this 1 and 1 0 7 means 1 double 1 so similarly like that right i have named them uh, the cells are named in decimal that's it so wherever one is there just put it across over here and you can group the adjacent cells and if you have x over here you can take them into the group by assuming they are one that can be taken as zero that can be taken as one so since these two are ones already over here and i can group them together with x so that we'll be getting a better result so let's say we have this vertical group one one so what is contributing to this group s0 and s1 again this gives s bar into s like that so this get cancelled so i will be getting r bar into qn out of this group so that's why r bar into qn plus now look at the this horizontal group this group uh, is generated from s is equal to 1 so we'll be getting s and here we will be having 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 it means all these get cancelled r and qn will not get generated because of s is equal to 1 we'll be getting s here this is the characteristic expression r bar into qn plus s for sr flip flop the excitation table excitation table in the sense what by looking at the current output and i should get next output like this what should be my input is so if i have 0 and again i am go supposed to get 0 i need to keep this s 0 why because because of this s0 i will be getting this 0 you can see here when s is equal to 0 0 my output is 0 0 always irrespective of these things that's why when i want to get 0 again i need to keep this s0 even if you take r is equal to 0 we will be getting this state hold whenever you are taking r is equal to 1 because of s at least you will be getting 0 that's why no need to consider this r this can be anything but s should be 0 that's why 0 and x in place of r when i have 0 and i am supposed to get 1 means i need to put s is equal to 1 and r should be 0 here you can't neglect r why because if you take r as 1 here what happens unknown state will be your next state you will be not getting 1 exactly that's why s should be 1 and r should be 0 when the current state is 1 next state should be changed to 0 means r should be 1 and s should be 0 when the current state is also 1 next state is also should be 1 you can take 0 0 as case r you can take x s can be anything but r should be 0 this is what the excitation table if you want to have these inputs as our cases to generate this kind of output then we have jk flip flop jk flip flop has first three states same as sr flip flop the next state and the last combination for j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 gives the toggle output that is q bar as the output so now characteristic table if you see all these first six cases are same here the seventh and eighth case will be getting a true value like when we have one one as jk input and uh, if the input if my current in output is zero next state will be changed to one this is toggle case similarly when jk is one one and my current output is one it will be changed to zero now qn plus 1 we are putting into the k map this k map will uh, be generated by two groups you can see this these two can be grouped together 
these two becomes uh, adjacent groups with one and these two can be grouped together here we will be getting j j get cancelled j0 j1 get cancelled for this group will be obtained with k bar into qn that is my first expression plus out of this blue group we will be getting j is equal to 1 j as it is and 0 0 1 0 is there here this k get cancelled because of 0 1 and qn will be 0 0 itself so we will be getting qn bar this is the characteristic table we are going to get for jk flip flop now if you write an excitation table the current state is 0 next state is also i am expecting 0 means what i need to keep this j 0 if my current state is 0 next state should be changed to 1 then j should be 1 irrespective of k even if you keep k is equal to 0 next state will be changed to 1 even if you keep k is equal to 1 because of toggle at which it will change to 1 right now if i have 1 already i need to change it to 0 means k should be 1 and j can be anything if i need to keep the value as it is from the current state of output to the next state of output i need to keep k is equal to 0 by default and j can be anything this is the excitation table so now you may get a question where actually these excitation tables are going to be used why it is so required and why these characteristic tables are required so in the next video we are seeing how we can use these excitation table and characteristic tables in constructing the complex circuits let's say simply if you want to convert a sr flip flop into jk flip flop right how you can use the inputs to convert a one flip flop to other flip flop by utilizing characteristic table and excitation table that is what our next video is we will be designing some sequential circuits using flip flops by utilizing its characteristic equation characteristic table and excitation tables thank you